Earthlings. How are you? You good? Great. Let's get started. Now you may or may not know, but two days ago was Passover. Now you say, okay, well, Passover occurs every year. All right, yes, it does. Correct. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Yeah! But what doesn't occur is a blood moon on Passover. So we had a blood moon. Great, cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't see it. None of us could on the East Coast. Well, almost the whole East Coast. So all you West Coast people in California living it up on the beach, you know, screw you. Because you could see the blood. I wanted to see the blood moon. Freaking East Coast. Now, as far as I know, without going into any scientific information and getting your brain all messed up, a blood moon occurs when the Earth and the Sun and the Mars and something happens with the atmosphere and the chemicals and causes a red color and yeah, just look it up. Now, what was so significant about this blood moon is that it's part of a tetrad. Now, what a tetrad is, without getting all scientific on you again, it's four blood moons in a row. So basically, two blood moons this year, two blood moons next year, and the blood moons occur this year on Passover, next year on Passover, and then the second time they occur is on Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, you know, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, I don't know, whoops, oh, yeah, I really messed that one up, but whatever, both years. So Yom, yeah, yeah. Yom Kippur, let's just call it Yom, Yom Kippur, this year and yum come for next year i really <laughs> that one up so i looked out my window at about 3 a.m and this is what i saw yeah yeah that so i stayed up went on instagram it was really nice seeing the pictures that people took of the blood moon wish i could have taken them myself but yeah there were some nice photos <laughs> So for all you that got to see the blood moon, good for you. And if you posted pictures on Instagram, great, lovely, good, wonderful, shut up. So blood moon is basically like a strawberry cow's behind. Really, the whole term blood moon is kind of vulgar if you think about it. I mean, why don't they just name it strawberry moon or sun moon or... I don't know. Think of a name. Comment down below. Leave it something. Name it something up. Blood Moon? I mean, really? Do we want to go see a bloody moon? No. No. What? So fortunately, if you didn't get to see the Blood Moon this time around, you only have to wait till October because it's going to happen again. Now, whether the United States will be able to see it or not, I don't know. But if it, you can view it in your country, good. Great. Wonderful. Great. Oh, blood moon, oh, bloody, bloody moon, what a horrible name for you. You're a beautiful sight, but you got a horrible name. I'm gonna name you Strawberry Moon. Like this video, comment down below, and share it with your friends. Do it.